All right. This is my childhood Monopoly board. It is the dot-com edition. And there is a profound analogy here between this game and the Wheel of Samsara and how to break free. So, I would like to start things off by diving in to this point. This point right here is like the axle hole, okay? And everything revolves around that axle hole. And so, if we could just go as a piece around the board and collect $200 and then keep going and paying for these things along the way like rent and food and other basic living expenses then and even luxurious items that we buy what we're doing is we're endlessly running around in circles looking at external objects and reality and just bouncing around and especially if we're only collecting so much as to then whatever we've generated as an input just goes out uh, and there's when we're enslaved with handcuffs for the entire year, each year, year after year, and we're not free to think, and we're not really free to live. And so the entire process is basically questioning this wheel mechanism. Why am I running around in circles year after year doing this process, earning this style of money, whether it's whichever uh, nation's currency, and then why am I paying money to the people that own these different buildings, off, whether it's houses or offices, and then I'm trying to either earn my own houses or offices, my own property, so that I can then charge other people for rent for these products, services, offices, companies. So the point is to then, if you want to go on this journey of breaking free of this wheel mechanism, one needs to ask, what is it in this center axle hole? What is right here? And if I access this point, which is an inner journey, right? So you have to go in to be able to understand this. And if you do, does that kind of shake up relativity or the monopoly board enough to give you more freedom, to feel more truth and love and reality inside of yourself? So... One has to still themselves from the wheel mechanism. Da 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 ba 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 endless spinning around in order to find slow down enough to find what is this? What is this axle hole here? You know, does it have any features? Or is it just like empty space? And is it infinite in that sense? And is it pure love when it doesn't have any of these attributes? When I'm not focused on my name and my identity, my location, my time, my beliefs, opinions, politics, religion, sexuality, any of those things, those identifiers and attributes, when I'm not focused on those, I'm focused on just this axle hole at the center what happens then? What happens to the board? What happens to my programming? Do I deprogram my tendencies, my conditioned tendencies around the board so that I can focus more on coming from this deprogrammed place of the axle hole of this empty space? 
And in doing so, are my intentions less so then about trying to acquire different properties and then charge others? But then my programming may change. It may become something like I want basic needs for everyone. I want to completely change the nature of the playground on earth so people can be free to be who they want to be. So I want decentralized water, food, energy, housing, well-being, joy, etc., freedom, creativity, so that these pieces don't have to run around the board ceaselessly doing this activity without ever asking themselves bigger questions and without actually being able to really love each other. So this is the how to break free analogy using the Monopoly board along with samsara and the wheel of existence.